Hello boys and girls. Welcome to the Emanuel Kaplan PS229 Library. Oops, I mean in my home, Mrs. Frewis's mini library, as you can see some of my books behind me. I want to greet you via the video and share some information. When we left school, we did not have time to take all our things that we needed to. But we did put away our stuffed pets in the bins. And I did take something with me to talk about. Here he is, the American Bald Eagle. I wanted him to fly free in my backyard. Just kidding. This majestic bird represents one of our symbols of our country. And at this time in history, we need to stay strong, together, and follow the rules and stay safe. Did you know that our country was deciding which bird was to become our national emblem? The eagle or the turkey? Now you know who won. A few interesting facts about the American Bald Eagle. First, let's talk about the name of the bird. A stands for American, the name of our country, the United States of America. B, we'll get back to bald. E is the type of bird for eagle. Bald is a word that means no hair and no feathers. So, what does that mean? This bird has feathers. It is a piebald eagle. Piebald or pied animals have patches of black or white, such as a black and white dog. There's a black dog with white spots. Other pied animals are horses, magpie, and the piebald eagle. It has patches of white feathers for his head and white tail feathers. The eagle lives in North America. It has a wingspan of more or less of six feet. My span from the right shoulder all the way end to the end of my fingertips is about three feet. Now double that and that makes it six feet. These birds are enormous with about six feet wingspan. They live in the wild, eat fish, birds, rodents, and snakes, and their lifespan is around 20 years. I visited Alaska, the 50th state, and here is my souvenir shirt with Inuits, which means people and they are fishing for delicious wild salmon. Also I have here the pin of the state bird of Alaska, the willow ptarmigan. It's in the family of the grouse family. And this is the Alaskan dog, the husky. Alaska is a state of wildlife, glaciers, and nature at its finest. I had the opportunity to visit the Raptor Center in Sitka, Alaska, which is a hospital for injured birds of prey, such as hawks and owls. A bald eagle was sitting on a pole with a fastener around his leg so he would not fly while his wing that was injured was recuperating. Due to the coronavirus, the Alaska Raptor Centers are closed to visitors. Your assignment is to draw an eagle and write three interesting facts you learned from my presentation. Add these words to increase your vocabulary. Piebald, Raptor Center, Enormous. When we return to school, I will bring Eagle back to the shelter library and he will be called A for American, B for Bold, and E for Eagle. That's capital A, B, E. Welcome to Abe. Shout out with a famous library clap. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we'll see you soon. Bye, boys and girls.